Hey guys, Jessica, the Free Family Coach. And uh, today, let's see here. Oh, there we go. Keep saying I'm losing my connection. So I'm just taking Kim for an enrichment walk today. I'm going to show you Kim walking. Um, what do I mean by an enrichment walk? We're just in the neighborhood, um, our neighborhood. And so it's going to be kind of this video too terribly long but we're just walking in the neighborhood and instead of being like a strict walk where I'm telling her where we're going and um, making her walk right next to me which generally um, I would do but it's the middle of the day there aren't a whole bunch of people out here walking with their dogs um, because they're at work and <clears throat> I just happen to be lucky enough in my job as a pet parent coach that I get to work from home I also do some work with my husband, but anyway, um, we're just taking a walk around the neighborhood and I'm letting her sniff and smell anything. I'm just letting her sniff and smell anything she wants to smell, basically. I'm not really telling her exactly which direction I want her to go in. I'm kind of letting her lead as long as she's not going too far off the path. I'm, I'm not going to let her go like in the middle of the street or <laughs> um, across the street or anything like that with cars coming. But um, for the most part, I'm just kind of letting her do her thing. Let her smell. Um, let her kind of pick the direction we go. If we go left, if we go right, around the neighborhood. <clears throat> and she she understands. I mean, she just wants to smell all the smells. And this is really great enrichment for your dog. You don't always have to, you know, um, think games and things like that to make for your dog or to buy for your dog. Those are awesome and they're great and we use them. But really one of the coolest things you can do for your dog is just to take them out and let them explore and let them smell. And of course she is unleashed because I don't want her, um, you know, you never know <laughs> what, what's, what's going to happen. Just because um, I have her unleashed doesn't mean that other dogs aren't going to be unleashed and you just never know. So I'm kind of letting her explore. We're doing I'm just letting her get some enrichment. I'm not going to let her walk straight up to this house because it's not our house. But, um, come on, sweetie. Let's go back this way. Come on, baby. Good job. Come on. <clears throat> she is, she got a scent of something. A smell that she's trying to track down. Come on, sweetie. So, um, good job. Good girl. Okay, so basically, um, got her tangled. We're just doing, doing an enrichment walk. I'm letting her go whichever way she wants to go, even if we're going right back the same way we just came, which we're doing right now. She obviously has something she wants to smell. She has something, um, a scent that she caught or something like that. So I'm just going to let her. Um, <clears throat> it's really, really amazing enrichment for your dog just to let them smell all the smells and things change. Different dogs have been out here. Different animals have been out here. Different birds have been out here. Different bugs. Um, you know, people plant flowers, and you just never know. There's all kinds of stuff for her to want to smell, and so I'm going to let her do it. So this is our enrichment. This is our enrichment today. We're getting out in the beautiful sunshine. Um, I think it's supposed to be like 82 today, so amazing weather, and we're just going to let her get her enrichment in today and smell all the smells. So just wanted to jump on and say hi. Thank you for liking my page. Don't forget, enrichment is um, something that I talk about quite a lot. And sorry, I'm trying to not let her go up to this house. Um, and Richmond is something to talk about a lot in my new ebook, Seven Miracle Steps to Train Your Dog. And you can grab your own copy. It's super cheap and so well worth it. Come here, sweetie. Good job. Grab your copy, Seven Miracle Steps to Train Your Dog. And Richmond is something I talk about quite a bit in the book. Um, you can get it. What is that? TheFurryFamilyCoach.com slash the number seven, seven miracle steps. The furryfamilycoach.com slash seven miracle steps. Go ahead and grab your copy. Um, you're going to love it. I talk all about training, um, the power of positivity in training. I really set you and your dog up on the right path to everything you need to know about training your dog and um, using force-free positive reinforcement methods to train your dog. So with that, go ahead and grab your copy of the book, Seven Miracle Steps to Train Your Dog, thefurryfamilycoach.com slash seven miracle steps, and seven is the actual number. So I'll see you guys later, and we're going to go ahead and finish our walk. Hey, 
Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.